some of the, the changes have already taken place. I mean, the Paris Declaration is a manifestation of how the donors and partner countries are seeing their relation changing. The other um, change is that there are newer actors who are now being recognized as making a major contribution to um, investing into development and these are the private sector, uh, the foundations and uh, the middle income countries whether they are the Brazils, uh, um, China and, and India or also the countries in the Middle East. The aid effectiveness agenda is nothing new. It's been a priority issue in the international community for three, four decades or longer. Uh, but it's gained more momentum since 2005 when the Paris Declaration was signed by over 100 countries and, and donors and refers to efforts to strengthen the delivery and results on the ground through various principles of agreed uh, performance. The two that we look at in particular in the recent uh, IEG evaluation of aid effectiveness are harmonization and alignment, the two areas where donors and the World Bank are particularly responsible. On harmonization, and that refers to use of joint evaluative systems, joint analysis, joint missions, and aims to reduce it, the burden that transactions cost to developing countries, we find quite a bit of progress. There is more joint work. There are efforts to advance the use of swap, sector-wide approaches, which is found to be very effective in reducing costs. However, we also find that selectivity, the work according to comparative advantage in reducing the, the spread of engagement, has been less successful. And partly that's because donor countries and sometimes the, uh, the, the receiving countries themselves prefer to have the bank with a broad footprint, a broad engagement. In the area of alignment, which refers to efforts to ensure that aid is consistent with development priorities of the countries, uh, we find also a bit of a mixed story. We find that in general the aid program and the strategy of the bank is well aligned with development priorities of the country. But we find less success in those areas of using country systems and building capacity. Capacity is being built, but slowly, but use of country systems is an area where progress has been somewhat slower, particularly in poor countries with limited capacity. That is financial management systems, procurement systems. There's clearly an agenda ahead where greater attention is needed. Some of the things that we've been finding in our evaluations is that there is a real importance of combining harmonization, alignment and ownership so that the harmonization and alignment agenda is not a standalone but it, it actually links up with country ownership in the partner countries. Um, the, the other dimension related to that is the importance of supporting capacity development in these countries. This may be more pronounced in fragile um, states, however it is also an issue in low income countries. And then finally there is a tension between the, um, the focus on countries and the country ownership on one hand, which is very important, and at the same time there is a, a global agenda, whether it is climate change or, or other similar issues, that are very often nowadays funded through what is called vertical funds, which focus the attention on these funds, but naturally then means a global agenda has to be cross-sected with uh, the important issues in a country and not always do they actually match completely. And so these are some of the issues that are coming out of our evaluations that need to be discussed and reconciled. There is a shift in focus from aid effectiveness to development effectiveness and we have to understand how we can actually evaluate this in a larger scope, how do we provide for accountability and more uh, equally important learning from, from those uh, investments. Um, some of the questions that arise are how do we measure the Paris Declaration principles, how do we understand what, uh, even, even if these principles are met, uh, is aid 
and development becoming more effective, what is being achieved in the countries um, themselves. And finally, there is a question about accountability to the citizens of the partner countries and whether that accountability is provided through development partners like the World Bank Group or the governments of these partner countries themselves. And, and there is a yet another tension that normally comes up uh, in development assistance uh, between the accountability of partner countries vis-a-vis -vis donors and then the question is how is the accountability working towards the citizens.